Hi there, I just had a great question from Sophie and Sophie wants to know how she can better protect her website or when she has a website in a subdomain, how she can bring that into the main domain. So if you've got a subdirectory, if you've got a, a subfolder and a version of WordPress is installed upon it and you want to move that into your main domain, then I'm going to show you now how you can do that. So there's two main things you need to do. The first thing you'll need to do is go into your dashboard and from your dashboard you can access the settings tab. In the settings tab we need to go into general. Now this is the first thing that we need to do. You've got your WordPress address. In this instance it's onlinemastery.co.uk forward slash academy. Now if I wanted to bring the academy website or the academy subdirectory into the domain so when you type in www.onlinemastery.co.uk it will appear without the forward slash academy then what I need to do is I need to take off the academy on the site address URL this is the first thing that I need to do and when I save the changes by doing this this will update the database by doing this also you'll notice that the site will become inactive you won't be able to view the site the site will not work that's absolutely fine in this instance. What you then need to do is you need to access your FTP account. You need to move two files. So in the Academy subdirectory, you need to take your index.php and your HT access, both of these files. If you can't see your HT access, speak to your hosting provider, make sure that you have the, uh, the available files there, there on view. When you have those, just duplicate the files and then move them into the parent directory. And the reason that we're going to do that is because when we move them into the parent directory here, we'll then need to go into the index.php and we'll need to change this line. So this is how it will look in index.php. It'll have forward slash WP blog. You'll need to put in the subfolder, make sure it has a forward slash before it. So again, starting out again, instead of having the www here, I will have academy. Now when I save this, what this will do is this will now tell me that if I go to the domain name onlinemastery.co.uk, it will automatically forward to academy without anybody knowing that it's there. This is great for security because if you're being hacked and somebody's looking for a WordPress folder, they won't know where to find it. The WP content that's normally in the core directory or the public HTML won't be there. It'll be within a subfolder, in my instance called Academy. You can call it whatever you want. So Sophie, I really hope that answers your question and gives you a lot more insight into how to do this. It's a nice, easy, simple process. And there's also a link which I'm going to put underneath this video for the WordPress codex, which tells you exactly what you need to do.